the school side, the K-12 side, I think that to me is the most exciting um, element of, of where that I'm working in. And if we go back and we look at, when you look at a, a, a traditional classroom and you've got a traditional um, environment, you've got a teacher with maybe 30 students in their class. Um, if you look specifically at primary school, they'll have that, that class all year long unless something happens. Which I think is great that they, 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 have, they can build that relationship and that, that um, ongoing knowledge of their students. But unfortunately, for most of that time, they're going to be teaching to the median. They're going to be teaching to the majority of the students. The majority. Um, not that they don't want to teach the, the students that are struggling and they don't want to focus on the students that are advanced, but they, it's hard. You've only got a certain amount of hours in a day. Uh, and you've got to do the best you can. So, so where I see um, uh, data insights really helping is to take, so if we, if we look at a class on a bell curve, uh, to take those two extremes and move them up, have, have data um, provide the answers to, to teachers about how to, how to support the struggling students that, that, that are, uh, are being um, disengaged uh, and then they become potentially students in the class that are, aren't being well behaved. Uh, and then the students at the other end, the students that are more advanced, you know, how do we keep them becoming more advanced until they get bored and sit there and go, oh, I already know all of this. So I think the, the, the power of, of data and power of machine learning is to be able to impart that knowledge, and, uh, or that not, not in the knowledge, the specific insights around those people, the, the outliers, if you like, and get them to be taught you know exactly what they need to know at the right time you know and, and teachers know how to do that it's just that they, they struggle with the time to build individual learning plans for every single student but with the the the, the insights you get out of data uh, that makes it a lot easier good teachers want every student in their class to, to move forward and progress at at, at the right pace and, and unfortunately um, when it's just relying on one teacher and 30 odd kids that's, that's tough to do with data, that changes the world, you know. With those insights being pushed to the teacher, allowing them to make really smart decisions and, and help every student meet their learning outcomes, I think that's, that's incredible.